Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. This was uh, my press and deadlift session. Press went well, but deadlift still sucks. Still just just awful, really. I have uh, been following this combination of press with deadlift and uh, squats on its own and bench press on its own. And uh, my inconsistency in press and the asymmetry that you see where my left is very, very late is somehow under control. I can sort of put attention to it and to some degree have, I suppose, some sort of control where it is not so leaning on one side. And I reckon so far as I don't go too heavy, which is 85 kg, 90 kg, I seem to have a very good control of it and I'm happy with that. I'm just happy for my press to float around 75 kg, 80 kg for a set of five. But I cannot just have my deadlift suck so bad. Not only it is light, by that I mean 170, 180. It's just something I can't control. I've seen that many videos of myself, got my girlfriend to have a look at me while I was deadlifting. The... What is that of the frontal vertical plane? If I was to split my body vertically, the left side is as if is not agreeing to do what needs to be done. And that makes me think, and I know that for a fact, that the problem is more in the hip. It's problem more in the what is not what is known as coaxial joint near the pelvis the sacroiliac joint it would be it, it would have to be just out of whack the power transfer just disappears so my knees and hips are bent in my deadlift start position and i start pushing the floor away the power is flowing very well the power is transferred to the upper body on the right side no problem but left side no nah, it's just not it's just sleeping you could somehow see that a little bit of it in my press right now, but in press it is just my arms. I know that. But deadlift, it's both. And it is so, it compounds the whole nature of the issue. Anyway, I think this is 70 kgs. I'm sort of happy with this. Uh, yeah, I think it's 70. I, I, I can't be bothered sometimes because I'm so in uh, you know in dump with with how my deadlifts are doing so there you go i mean press is not bad there's a little bit of lag in the left but when you'll watch my deadlift it is just terrible it just sucks and uh, i um i have gone down the path of light deadlift which i thought i would never but i'm and uh, apart from that, I've considered instead of doing deadlifts, doing Romanian deadlift. That's my next thing. Doing rack pulls. Maybe rack pulls I'll do because it makes me, lets me pull heavy weight from middle of the shin height. And maybe deficit deadlift or um, what's the other one? Definitely not, definitely, definitely not sumo deadlift. Anyway. So I'm going to have to go to one of these avenues of choosing between a movement which is still deadlift and then see from there if it improves. I have done Romanian deadlifts in past and I must say that I get a very good isolated feeling in my lower back and it is you can I can feel a bit of a pump if if you know what I mean. Lower back is is very small bunch of muscles and they don't get much attention in most training but i think when it comes to well almost anything but when it comes to lifting where your spine is loaded the function of lower lumbar lower back muscles is crucial it is important to know how to activate lower back by tightening your abs 
how to keep the spine erect by pushing a chest up not out and it has made me think of some exercises as warm up to see if that works and i think laying prone on your tummy with hands stretched out with a superman position and then kicking your legs up slowly like reverse leg raises really warms up my lower back so lower back has small amount of muscles it is also lesser innervated innervated it has less amount of nerves going and also lesser amount of blood vessels going so we don't feel it as we would in our biceps the chest the pump and we will not feel as we would feel the pump in our chest our heart and other big organs are more up the top and it seems like the things to do with pump feeling excited is all about up the top north of the body your chest your biceps you know and your shoulders but as we move down the connection let's say the mind muscle connection is lesser and lesser and i think it is the least in lower back anyway while i have done uh, romanian deadlift a few times i felt that it awakens basically it it's activated like never before and i've done it uh, romanian deadlift only as warm ups and i actually really like romanian deadlift the legend has it that the world famous legendary dead, um uh, olympic weightlifter from romania vladimir he was he did he did romanian he did that deadlift variation all the time and while he was training like that in usa some lifters saw him doing and they couldn't figure out what was going on what is this new thing he's doing and apparently they started calling it undeadlift because it starts from the top it starts where the deadlift finishes so that way thinking about it when you start up the top you're already in full extension and then you have to sl- slowly lower the bar keep it on your shin and that's that's double because otherwise deadlift is pull it up and drop it basically so that's one good thing about romanian deadlift it's both ways it's down and then up just closely watch my head how it just so i think so i i i could be biased it just moves a bit wonky on the right hand side and i really struggled in this session because it was getting very difficult for me see how i'm leaning against and all these things i do i sit down because the tightness and the pain in si joint is just something else then compounded by things like you know lifting those heavy plates that's why i've got the small plates because i can just grab them with the grip hold that they have so yeah I stand around a, f- a lot longer than i ever do for something it looks like is 160 anyway so the tightness is like it seizes especially in the start position so bending over basically is very hard and when i pull there is just like something is stopping me then there is this wonky up and down thing with my shoulder and you will see how see saw the bar gets so i'm really thinking i need to just give up deadlift for a little bit and choose some other variation and i believe romanian deadlift is the good one to go or right, let's have a look yeah it's so hard to get to that position and my head goes a little bit off and i'm dropping the bar i never used to drop the bar i always place the bar back but it's so hard to remain in that position anyway so romanian deadlift is on the cards put it on the rack grab the bar stand step back and now you're loaded in a vertical almost anatomical position chest is out and i'll slowly load it down and i'm going to lower it down as low as possible almost like a deadlift and then keep my chest up look very close in the floor in front of me 
and really push the floor away and I'll, then I'll see how it feels on my SI joint. I will definitely go light like 80 kgs to start with and I'll add 10 kgs in each session, sets of 3, sets of 2 and see if I can make some, look at my head, it's just so wonky and see if I can uh, make some difference there. So I think this is 200 and I'm sitting a lot in between, just really pressing into my left lower back and seeing how it's playing up. I probably should have done more warm-up of uh, Superman leg kicks. I think that helped. Would have helped, but I didn't. So that's why I'm sitting a lot in between. Really thinking, is this a good idea? Because this is 200, I think. 200 or... I don't care. Maybe 160. And I don't want to lose my 200 kg deadlift. I mean, that's that should be the just par. And after that... Everything else is a bonus. There were days when I would do 200 kg sets of five, and now it's just, it's a dream. Single or a double at the most. So anyway, I'll, I'll just, you'll just see how wonky it all gets. I mean, if you really slow it down, you will see. And there's this pain, the face full of pain. I, I don't think so. I made such faces before doing deadlifts I would make faces but it would not be because of pain and I can see that it's just terrible anyway guys I think um, Romanian deadlift is the way to go uh, see if you have any experiences in SI joint pain please put your comments and feedback and and let me know is it a good idea to do that that's another thing. I'm using straps for 180 or 200. I've never done that. Never. So it is affecting in every single way it can. I'm dropping the bar on the top, which I never did. Using straps for the weight that I never had to. Like I've done 240 without, without straps. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, let's have a look at this. See how my head goes one way and the face just, and I drop the bar. I just don't like it. Anyway, I'll get there. Romanian deadlift is the way to go. Thanks for watching, guys. And sorry about being so negative, but I just think it's good to express what I'm going through. Squats are going really well. Press are going really well, but deadlift, not so much. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.